Welcome back to SIA TV and your update for the week of October 21st. We'll start with development updates from SIA's public GitLab. 10 issues were closed, 8 issues were created, and 11 new pieces of code were merged into the core code base. Contributors included Chris, Matt, Luke, and David from the core team, and Shatners and Zorius from the community. Before we get into anything else, a quick reminder that SIA is forking in two days on October 31st. Update to 1.3.7 now to avoid any issues. All major exchanges have confirmed their support for the fork, and you can learn more about it in the link down below. Chris worked on modifying the .sia file format to allow future changes without reading and writing the whole file. This change should seriously benefit SIA's ability to scale. Luke updated the API documentation to reflect the new API password requirement that developers need to implement in order to perform certain API calls to the SIA client. Shatner's updated the SIA AMP farm repo to comply with the new API password requirement and also corrected the path of its dependencies. Zorius corrected a vulnerability in the block headers validation. Thanks to our community contributors for this week, and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.